The unionization effort at Starbucks in the US and Canada has been accelerating. Employees at 54 stores across 19 states are pursuing union elections, according to organizers. 15 of those stores joined the union drive just this week, petitioning federal labor, labor officials to set a vote. The filing, co filing corresponds with the start of contract negotiations between Starbucks and unionized workers in Buffalo. We've previously reported on the, the quite successful efforts in Buffalo. Last month, Starbucks workers at three different New York stores held union elections. A majority voted in favor at two of the three locations, unionizing 64 workers. Now some 30 Starbucks workers in Arizona are wrapping up their own election by mail. Employees at three more in the Buffalo area are also beginning their voting this week. So it sort of started a little bit slowly, at least here in the US. Canada successfully had some of this back in in June to August of last year in 2020. But Sabrina, it is really accelerating here in the US. You're seeing it across multiple states. I know, I'm so excited. And finally, not only California, because I think there's some unionization efforts going on in about San Jose, but just yesterday, Los Angeles, there's a, a Starbucks location in Los Angeles that is filing to try to get unionization as well. So it, it's one thing if maybe it was just on the East Coast where the union unionization efforts could kind of be controlled at the very least. But now that it's spreading to different mm -hmm. states, I think we're seeing a lot of dominoes fall. I'm so excited for this. I'm so happy. I'm so excited for the for the unionization effort for the Starbucks workers who just want better working conditions and slightly better pay. And I, I predict that once we get most of the locations unionized, and there's a lot of them, there's thousands, thousands across the country. I think that eventually uh, the Starbucks messaging for like uh, trying to attract new workers will be like, we're pro union, come work for oh, us. Yeah. Meanwhile, yeah. you know, this entire time they're doing whatever they legally can to stop it. Yeah, it's like it's like the uh, like the Republicans who are like going back to their states and like, look at this infrastructure spending we have. Don't ask me how I voted on it. <laughs> it definitely, I think you have a good point. Um, yeah, like look at all these companies that have been like forced to increase wages, and now we're like, look at the wages that we give out. Yeah, but you didn't want to do that. We had to make you. I I think that's a very good prediction. Look, and people in the chat, by the way, are talking about uh, in Seattle. They think that there's four stores. So I, I, it's entirely possible that in our searching we have missed some. But I would actually, I would be interested in talking to someone in the LA location if if what you were saying uh, is true that there there is one there. Um, but anyway, look, as we said, in, as in a lot of these efforts, it is about things like money, but it's also about security and safety. As in a lot of these other recent uh, labor movements, people are worried about the exposure that they have or the extra work they have to do as a result of the pandemic. And if you take a look at some of the Yahoo News coverage of this, they've profiled um, people whose family members have gotten COVID because it's just they're packing too many people in these stores, those sorts of things. So, uh, you know, good on the union effort. We'll we'll see how it goes. For more political news breakdowns, interviews, stories of activism, and me trying my hardest to care about the occasional big celebrity news story, subscribe to our YouTube channel at youtube.com slash the damage report. And you can ring the bell wherever it is so you don't miss anything.